Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today uh, I am going to review one of the cheapest pens or che rather cheapest fountain pens that are available in Indian market. So this pen is from Indian company called Brill. So it is a made in India pen and this is Brill RFP01 and this is one of the cheapest fountain pens that you can acquire in an Indian market. So uh, before we begin a humble request to all my viewers to please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. So I'll you know talk about the pen, the parts, my likes and dislikes and then as usual we will have a small writing sample. So this company is Brill, the same company that produces fountain pen inks, some of the brilliant inks that we can have or that we can buy in the Indian market. So they make fountain pens also. So these pens are entirely made of plastic and they are eyedropper based pens. So and they are totally you know made of plastic from head to toe and they are all uh, injection molded you can see the injection mold here so they are all injection molded so so the things I like about this pen is that this pen is very cheap you know uh, it, it, it is around 30 rupees per piece this pen and even there are some models that you can get even at a you know uh, lower price range half of this price at around 15 rupees per you know piece so the things that i don't like about it is that the at 30 rupees 15 rupees the quality of the plastic becomes very you know uh, unreliable here the quality is not very good so then if you just you know press or try to close this pen too tight the barrel breaks and it starts leaking so I have an example for this I have another pen with me you know that you can see here I can't even now close this pen fully the barrel has cracked here so due to these cracks the ink now leaks from the barrel and it is this pen is unusable so I'm not sure if they make their pen nibs in-house or they source it from somewhere but these nibs are okay they are fine they do well the feeds are I'm not sure they seem like plastic feeds but maybe they can be ebonite also but the these pens surprisingly write very well they are good writers it is hard to start these pens but once these pens start they are very good writers and you have to take a little bit care while handling this pens you don't put too much pressure or don't you know throw this pens around because they have a tendency to as I, as I said they have a tendency to crack once they crack they can you know uh, ruin your bag or your, your, your shirt if you don't take care about these pens otherwise there is no issue with these pens it's totally plastic pens cheap pens and good writers I would say so this pen the size of this pen is also quite good it is not even a very not a very small pen you see it is almost the size of Parker Frontier okay so let's do a small writing sample okay so you can see uh, this pen also you know burps a lot this the ink in this pen is not very I have not filled this pen to the brim so this pen might burp and I, it will burp you can see it is burping okay anyhow so the pen is Brill RFP10 ink is Dayton green so let's write something quick 
brown fox jumps over lazy dog okay so these pens are if the <coughs> ink is good like you know if you have a thin ink like Dayton, Brill or rather any any Indian ink then these pens will work fine but if you are using some higher end ink like um, Sheffer Waterman then these pens you know will give you a little bit of a hard start or they might you know skip in between or might the flow of ink will be not very good <coughs> so this pen does not have any flex totally steel nib hard nib and the nib point is I think medium yes it is a medium nib writes good well it is not a scratchy nib but you get a nice feedback when you run the pen on the, on the paper so as I said the cost of this pen is 30 rupees there are other models in this uh, category that actually start from 15 rupees so this is you know a very very handy and good fountain pen to have but the problem with this one issue is that this these the availability of these pens these pens are not very readily available if you want to buy these pens you have to go to brillindia.com and there you have to order these pens and they have a you know minimum order amount that you have to order so you cannot order one or two pens you might have to if you want one or two pens then you might have to you know uh, accommodate those pens with some other products from their side otherwise there is no big deal in this pens cheap pens you can you know have these pens to practice to you know do all the things with this pen because even this pen breaks I, I won't worry about it right you can experiment with these pens with different inks I use these pens to experiment with different inks basically you know trying new inks trying different types of inks in these pens so even even if these pens clog you know it, it does not hurt much hope <coughs> this video helps and thanks for watching the video and as usual please like the video subscribe to the channel and share the channel as much as possible so that we grow together thank you thanks for watching the video bye bye